here with Fernando Vargas in Los Angeles. Fettos, hey man, uh, breakdowns real quick from you and then I'm gonna get into a, a few other topics. Next weekend, part three, Canelo Golovkin. Does it go any differently either way or, or do you expect one or the other to dominate the fight? I think Canelo's gonna dominate him. Um, you know, um, the second time they fought, you saw Canelo was able to, you know, you push a guy back, playing, making, making a fighter that always goes forward, fight backwards. So I think that Canelo wins that, wins the fight, definitely. How does it play out? Does it play out like the second fight? I don't know. I think, I think you know, Canelo has more of a opportunity to, to really, you know, try to go out there and try, try to even get the stoppage. I mean, you know what I mean? But, but I definitely think that Canelo's going to win the fight. You know, they've had two fights that were close. The second one, some people felt it was a draw, the second one. Um, given that, that they both have bad blood, they don't really like each other, do you think one or the other is going to come in with more, be more aggressive? Um, I think that, the, I think that Canelo's going to come out and be more aggressive. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and push him back. And just like he did this, the, the second fight. The second fight, he pushed him back and he, he won that fight. So, you know, I think that that's going to be the same game plan. And like I said, Fighters that go forward, that always go forward, don't like to go backward. Is there any scenario that you see that Golovkin knocks him out? No, I never seen Canelo hurt, but one time in his career against Ma uh, Matthew Hatton. So other than that, I've never seen Canelo hurt. Wow. Because Golovkin's a big puncher, he's coming forward. Canelo said like he knows he has to take risks, and he knows that there could be a punch that he has to take in order to to come forward and land his punches on Golovkin. Yeah, I mean, when, but he always takes calculated risks. When have you seen, you know, Canelo look sloppy? Very true, very true. So, with stoppage, unanimous decision victory. unanimous decision. decision. Yeah. Do you think it's like a Morales Barrera type of a fight? Um, I don't know about being a Morales Barrera type fight, but. I think that that just um, that that um, uh, Canelo's gonna dominate. Gonna dominate. Do you think from there should he rematch Bobo? I think that you know you just have to take your hat off to Canelo because he was trying to do what no other Mexican fighters has done, and that's going to four weight classes, and you know that guy was just too big for him, and he and he didn't look bad either. He didn't get like hurt, knocked out, or hurt or. Or anything, so you know, it didn't never look like he was stumbling on it, you know, going uh, on Queer Street at all. So, you know, um, I think that's gonna be good. He's uh, mentioned that he doesn't want to fight any more Mexican fighters. What's your take on that? Uh, being someone that fought everybody, um, I don't know why he would want to say that. But, I mean, it's his prerogative. You know what I mean, you know, if he doesn't want to fight Mexican fighters, why? Because probably, you know. Rasa maybe saying things to him like, you know, why you fighting a countryman? But that's stupid. This is a sport of boxing. You know, in the sport of boxing, everybody fights each other. You know, Barrera fight uh, Morales three, four, well, three times. So it's just that that's what boxing is, you know. But I don't know. Boxing fans are kind of silly sometimes. Making news, he socked Pitbull Cruz. What do you think of him? Yeah, he's a, he's a good pressure fighter. I mean, you know, um, he, kid has a lot of heart, and uh, and he's out there to give it his all. So, wish him the best. Do you think he beats Javante in a rematch? How does that go? Well, Javante didn't want to give him a rematch. You know that. You know, if it's not an, it's an unnecessary risk for him, you know, he's not trying to do that. How would it play out? Uh, how would it be different? Could uh, Isaac win that fight? Well, I mean, you saw that he, how close it was the first time. But, you know, I think that that um, Javante was underestimating him. And so I think that that um, that maybe the second time around will be a little bit more uh, clean uh, decision for uh, Javante. But, you know, you never know. Uh, with Ryan Garcia in the mix also, how do you see him matching up with Ryan Pitbull? That'd be a great fight, but I think that uh, 
brain is is, is uh, too smart. You know, too many boxes. He knows how to box. He can box. He can punch. So I don't think he'd be standing right there with him. Yeah, that's what I think too. Like he'd come in and run into something because he's yep. so big. Yep. You know? All right, Fedos, man, you're here uh, for this press conference. Let us know uh, what's been up with you and your son. Well, you see what's been up there, right? Boom, right there. Oh, yeah. Well, well <laughs> you guys forgot about it, huh? <laughs> and if you know your boxing, you know why that why I deserve this belt. Do you know your boxing? Oh, <laughs> you don't even know. You I'm never got know. it. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> you never know. Ah, wait. <laughs> I can't even believe it. You have the you come to boxing, but you don't know why this is my belt. This is your belt. Oh, I'll tell you why. Yeah, well, tell me why. I fought Casiejo mm. in Chicago, yeah. and I beat him. But before he fought, they stripped him. I was number one contender. He was the world champion. They stripped him. The WCBC stripped him because they wanted him to fight somebody else, which the, you know the politics with Don King and all that. So. They finally gave me my belt at the at the Las Vegas Boxing Hall of Fame. Finally, it's a good That's why you see. How many years? That was like twenty something years. Yeah. Oh, Better late than never, Rato. Better late than never. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.